any of this stuff, it just kind of depends how ambitious somebody is. I know they've been sitting a long time. Nineteen sixty DeSoto, sixty Cadillac, four door hard top. Fifty one Ford with the visor. Oldsmobile should be. 1949 or 50. I believe that's a 98. Kind of a neat one. There's a Jeep station wagon. I believe that's kind of an earlier one. They built these from like 54 to 62. I think that's kind of the range. And we've got the little Ford Anglia. That's a pretty neat car. Just like I was saying, these vines are a mess. Kind of pardon the terrain out here. Like I was saying, this place, about 10 years ago I was out here when they'd been scrapping some vehicles. And so some of these have old spray paint numbers on them that have pretty much weathered off. And more recently, uh, now that the family's been selling cars they've been kind of remarking them which vehicles are sold and which ones other members of the family have claimed and then which ones are not for sale wow this 60 cadillac is a fleetwood so you can see the emblem there on the trunk and it's got these extra little hash marks on the quarter there pretty neat car class of 1960 reunion right there A lot of leftovers from Fred's days working. Rubber bumper MG. This is one of the old wreckers he used to move vehicles around. I don't remember, but I think that might have been a truck that we used out here for moving stuff when I was back buying vehicles here. Kind of a neat one. 70s Chevy, half ton, step side, four wheel drive truck. Right here we've got a AMC Javelin. That one's actually the SST model. It's kind of been hit in the back. 
had to be pretty ambitious to bring it back to life. 57 Ford Ranchero. A lot of these sat long enough they're going to be parts vehicles, but there's some that if a person was ambitious enough, they could be brought back. 67 Grand Prix. Now that's when the Grand Prix was still on the full size Pontiac chassis. I believe it was 68. They moved to the GMA body, maybe 69. So that's about the end of full size Grand Prix. Couple of these 74, 5, 6 Cougars. Middle of April, I'm filming this and it's already getting kind of grown over to be able to see what's around in here. 50 Dodge. Sixty three Rambler, another MG Midget, catastrophically wrecked Chrysler LeBaron convertible, wrecked Ford pickup. There's a Thunderbird. Like 70, 4, 5, 6, that's on the Lincoln Mark IV chassis. This was kind of one of my favorite cars here. I believe it's a 68 AMC Ambassador SST model. And now, when I was here 10 years ago, that car had been pulled to that spot so all these trees grown up around it since that time it's just crazy how fast this stuff moves I'm trying to remember if that was a adventure buckets in here Pretty much full length, but split. The other manufacturers had 60-40 split seats, and this is like a 50-50 split. Coolest thing about this car is the three pedals. I'm not sure exactly if that's a four speed or just a three speed. Anyway, body works kind of rough on this side. A lot of filler in that front fender and the door. And then you can see where that quarter's been skinned on and all that body works kind of cracking apart. It's a pretty neat car. Several of these Pentos. This one would be about a 70, four, five, six. Safety bumper era, but not the aluminum bumper yet. Those were like 78 to 80 maybe. <laughs> so. 71, I think, Ford pickup. It's a pretty decent truck. Yellow is fairly uncommon color choice for one of those. A 
little Honda Civic wagon. It's kind of a neat one. Lots of vehicles out here and they're all spread and scattered, so kind of hard and if I don't walk around every last one of them. 65, I think, F-250. 352 in that one. There's a little Toyota Corolla bodied Chevy Nova. Just a fun fact, Frank Fritz has one of those. Pretty good old GMC truck, 60 to 63, half ton long bed, somebody's put a Chevy gate on there, mostly matched the color. GMC and Chevrolet shades were just a little bit off. Lincoln Town Car, Volkswagen Rabbit. Another Subaru Brat. Neat Malibu. 78.9. Almost every G body column shift automatic. Very, very rare to find manual transmission G bodies. Grand Prix, 78 to 80. Then we've got a 57, 58 Mercury. Parked in 73. It's a four door sedan. Pardon the terrain. Seventy two Cadillac. Little Ford Ranger. Sixty one Ford Galaxy. And is this Ford a short bed? Yeah. 64 or so. This one kind of wrecked on the other side there. See the bed and the cab got pretty squeezed. More of these old Ford pickups. It's 80's Bronco. Short bed. 88 to 94 Chevy truck. It's 390 in there, I think. That's a Ranger XLT. So that one's Top of the line. GMC pickup is sold. So it'll be off to a new home. Pretty catastrophically sideswiped on this side. You see, they retrofitted a little bit of household materials to keep the door closed. F 250 Ford, pretty beat up. This one here is pretty neat. I believe that color is lunar green. Put a cool old work bed on it. Half ton even. It's got the 16 inch wheels. That was kind of nice of Brad to give me a ride around and 
detour it a little on the machine there. Some of this you just kind of got to walk. You can't exactly see it from his wheeled conveyance. This was overgrown back 10 years ago when I was here, but it's gotten way, way more that way now. There's a Jeepster. They're neat cars, but I'm not into them at all. Just not that crazy over them. It's kind of a partial Model T. Ford truck. Right here is a 56 custom cab. Pretty neat. Kind of a one year only cab for a Ford. And this guy, 62, should be. That's a unibody. That's a custom cab also. So it has got the real neat bubble back window on it. Somebody's added Impala bucket seats. That's a pretty good truck, honestly. GMC front end in there. Some of what's out here, when they were crushing, he'd let them crush a vehicle, but then he'd want axles and stuff saved, so that's some of what this is. There's 58 Ford. Get the wall hanger all ready on that. Just need a hood for it. Trees just totally took over in here. Here's a 63. Be a Biscayne station wagon. Wow. Mother Nature kind of taking these over. And here's a early duster. It's kind of vandalized. This whole corner kids got in and broke glass out. 73 or 4 charger there. There's a 68 or 9 Fairlane. And a brown 74 5 6 Dart or Valiant. The one we're looking for, there's supposed to be the 69 Fairlane Torino Talladega. And there it is. Talladega. It's kind of a rare car. Unfortunately, the pack rats have made their apartment house. Oh, this front end is unique and 
you'd have to fix what's there because you're not going to be buying repro parts out of a catalog. Bench seat car, column shift automatic. There it is. Show the... Is it a 66 or a 67? Nova four-door. So hard to see the trees but pretty well complete with the drivetrain then there's a Cordoba here there's that Brown Plymouth again my granddad had one Pretty much identical to this. His, of course, didn't have Craigers on it. Imagine some high school kid had that in the 80s and probably pretty proud of it till it got wrecked. 63 or 4 Nova, straight six car. Seventy three cutlass. Seventy five or six Torino Elite. Seventy three satellite four door. Another old Ford pickup. And this Fury should be a 70. Two-door hardtop. Really straight car. Make it a parts car and... Or else find a parts car. That'd be... A good one to take two and make one. Either needs a parts car or it is a parts car. Fred would do toes off the highway and he always worked up until he was gone and so that's what a lot of these later ones that he pulled in. This area out here is where they crushed the cars. They just had a big pile of them kind of over where that RV is and I'd come out here five, six days a week and pull parts fill my minivan every trip and bring them home. Old Monte Carlo. 66 Impala two-door. Hope I don't end up with poison ivy because it's kind of popping. Sixty-five. Galaxy four-door sedan for all of you who don't like the word post. This is 6970 Dodge long bed step side. D100, so it's a half ton. That's a pretty cool truck. Kind of a neat one. Sixty four La Saber Wagon. A kind of a neat one to fix up. 
need some work, but this thing's really a pretty decent car, honestly. White with the red interior is kind of a neat color combination. Nineteen sixty eight LeSabre, two door hard top. Thing's got a great patina. Some really good lines on that car. Honestly, it's Pretty good car. Looks like somebody's robbed some front suspension pieces though. Maybe enough there to scab it together to roll though. Sixty four Dodge. That's a pretty decent car. I think it could be a built. 55 Ford Ranch Wagon. Another one of those. Either needs a parts car or it is a parts car. Now that's 63 Galaxy. Really unique two door post, not a hard top, not a 500, just Galaxy two door sedan. Small block V8 orange is a 260. Seventy one satellite. A pretty neat car. Seventy eight Camaro LT. I don't know that the LT means too much on one of them call out this 64 Pontiac Catalina wagon it's not just your average wagon this one's a conversion and it is the amble wagon which was a station wagon ambulance with the regular roof not the raised roof so you can see little remnants of the Antenna hole or light holes. There's a little hole with the ring there And you can see the rubber flooring in the inside and then over on that driver's rear door. There's like a piece He could stick Something in there for storage. I'm not sure what but that car really not much of anything makes it too special, but it was an ambulance converted, and I'm not sure which company that would have been. There's only four, five, six really major manufacturers of hearses and ambulances that did that sort of coach building. A pretty neat piece of our country's transportation history. This 62 Bel Air wagon, it's something that I think would make a worthy project. Probably would need a parts car for it, but what's there? It's one that I think has potential for new life. Next to it. 62 Impala. You could get four door hardtop or a four door sedan. 62. This one's got real neat colors the white body with a red interior, 
and then they did put a little red stripe inside that door molding match the interior raccoons have been in here and totally shredded this thing apart cool thing about this car is it's pretty well optioned it's a power glide car power brakes power steering factory ac so that's one that even if a person just needed original accessory parts and power equipment it'd be a good car just to have for that The 60 Bel Air, that one's been sold. 61 Biscayne. Two door sedan. Sadly, that one's been moved with a winch truck cable. So it's pinch the roof and the doors unfortunately that's something you used to see back in the day people didn't have equipment that we take for granted today so that's kind of what ended up happening to some of those old cars that's a 68 Grand Prix had some parts taken off of it. Not a lot reproed for those, so it'd be a good one. Part down the rest of the way. 56 Pontiac, maybe 55. 65 Impala, four door hard top. Always look in these and see if they're tilt steering or not. Nineteen fifty seven Oldsmobile two door hard top. That's a pretty neat car. Fifty nine Pontiac four door sedan Star Chief. See they Took the engine apart and threw it in the trunk and gave up. It's kind of a neat 153 or 4 Pontiac two door sedan. And a four door sedan. And in between there, I think 36 or 7 maybe. Is that a Ford? I'm not even sure. Old dirt track car. Could be a Mopar. That would be neat just for a display piece, even if you didn't get it back running again. So we've got a 62 Ford Sunliner convertible. Another one of those that would either need a parts car or be a parts car. Sixty one Ford Galaxy, two door hard top. Then we've got a 58 Buick Super, four-door hardtop. Super and Roadmaster were the larger series of 58 Buicks. A few of you guys commented on that other video liking that 58 Roadmaster that I'd found out by Harper, Kansas. So here's another one. Not as good a condition and it is missing quite a few pieces and probably not 
nearly optioned the way that Roadmaster was, but it is that same body anyway. 54, 55 Studebaker, four door, and kind of a sad one. This is a 55 Chevy station wagon, vintage demolition derby car. You can see that poor thing pretty well pounded in. This was back before they really even stripped them and took the moldings off. They just took the glass out and took them out to the track. Early days of demolition derby, it wasn't really the sport that it is today. It's just people kind of out there having fun. Cars like this, you just don't really see that often because most of them got cashed in for scrap. So to find one that survives like this, just kind of neat because it tells a little bit of the history of the sport. 57 Ford, two-door sedan. Forty seven Chevrolet Fleetmaster. There's kind of a neat one here. This is a sixty two Olds Dynamic eighty eight. So this is pretty much the base model of this car. You see there's not much of any side trim. It's got the little pie pan hub caps. That thing's relatively decent old car. Really straight. Probably in nice shape when they put it away. Two-tone car, white with the red roof. Five-window Dodge pickup. I believe this Imperial is a 58, and it's given up its Hemi. And then this other one, 59, so that should be a 413 car. 56 Ford, kind of a neat truck. 67 Chevy. Impala, two-door hardtop, been crashed in the front, and then somebody stuck a Bel Air clip on it and kind of never finished it. So they pulled the drivetrain back out, and here it sits. Some good trim moldings and parts on it. Dash of that one's real rusty where it meets the windshield, so probably kind of best as a parts car. And 67 Cougar. Could be a builder or parts car. Any of this stuff, it just kind of depends how ambitious somebody is. I know they've been sitting a long time. 55 Bel Air. Salmon pink and gray. To me, that's the best color combo on a 55. It just looks so good. 68 Torino. This one's been plowed pretty hard in the front. See, it is bucket seat and console car. Got the automatic. Be pretty ambitious to bring that one back or to make a good parts car. There's a 60. 456 Chevy truck. That's a long bed C10. It's a good original truck. Over here, I think is a 40s Ford. 
like a milk truck. Super cool truck. It's got the old rubber blade fans. I think those are Chevy panel truck seats in there. Pretty basic old truck. Kind of neat relic of history. Real similar to the one that Iron Trap Garage had several years back. Somewhere out in this area, back when they were scrapping cars, they had dragged a camper shell off of like a 60s Dodge pickup that they were scrapping. And I pulled probably the best piece out of here wasn't a car, it was a suitcase. There's the camper right there. But it was full of all of the ladies' pictures and cards. And I have to look up, still have the suitcase in the shop. But yeah, they pulled this camper off and that suitcase fell out. And it was basically her memories of her whole life in there. There's some other stuff too, wow. But anyway, she had run the Eaton Tap Room, which was at the Eaton Hotel in Wichita. And you kind of wonder what this was or what they used it for if it was recreation or place to live out of necessity but you can see the rats have just totally totally wrecked it but it was kind of gratifying to be able to take that piece out of there and save it and preserve it Sixty-three Bonneville, four-door hardtop, factory black. That one is just exceptionally good car. Very straight. Needs a little rust repair here and there, but overall, just a good, good car. Factory AC. Power windows. That would be a worthy car to see new life on the road again. 67 Comet, two-door hardtop. This is one that's pretty complete. Something I would consider a builder. Very straight, very solid old car. That's all. That's, that's what you got. Not quite. Okay. Still pinched in there. Uh, 
Yeah, so the correct answer was chiseling away all the stuff. And the shed's still up and we didn't die. So here's the suitcase in question. Slightly weathered. Give it an open here. There we go. And inside we've got dusty remnants and mementos. So inside, lots of pictures, lots of letters. Family pictures. I believe Evelyn worked at the Eaton Tap Room, which was a hotel in Wichita. And a picture of Buck Owens. So here's a few pictures. I believe she was born. Uh, sometime in the teens and died maybe like 86. There were a couple pictures in here of her early years on an Indian motorcycle at the dealership. And I took a set of those. I think there were negatives for them also. And had a couple extra prints made just because they were... Neat enough, I thought the motorcycle guys would kind of like to have old pictures of Indian dealerships for display. So those I don't have with this. I looked and looked, but I think they're over in some other swap meet stuff. It's kind of buried at the moment. But there's, I believe, the Eaton Tap Room there. And Evelyn in her later years, in her earlier years. So there's the... Suitcase, thought it was kind of gratifying to be able to save that thing out of that camper from being totally wrecked and ruined and just become nondescript part of a rat's nest and be forgotten to time. <laughs>